today I'm going to work on the off-platform project T Cozy. This is how the page currently looks like and this is how they want the page to look like after adding HTML and CSS. So first you're going to create an HTML and CSS file on VS Code. I'm going to type exclamation point return on Mac to begin and the title of this page is the T Cozy. After the title, we're going to link this to CSS. First part of the page that we're going to work on is the header. Here on the header, we have the logo on the left, and we have mission, feature, key, and locations. Let's create header and create a class to header. It's going to be called flex container. Next, let's add the image of the logo. So I'm going to add the link of the image. I'm going to close image tag. I'm going to create nav. Nav has a purpose to provide navigation links either within the current document or to other documents. So we're going to use the span element. Span is useful for styling and formatting the page. Next, I'm going to create an anchor. This is for a link, which is going to take us later on the page to mission. Feature T and locations. Next session we're going to work on is the main content container. We're going to create a div and a class of main. But first, let's start adding some information to our CSS. I'm going to add these universal styles first. So we're going to create a body selector and add the universal styles. For the anchor elements, the color is going to be seashell. Let's save and check how our page looks like so far. For our H2, H3, and H4 elements, we're going to have margin of 0 and padding of 10 pixels. Okay, so let's start styling our header now. We're going to go to CSS and select our flex container class. To call a class, you select dot and the name of that class. So first thing we're going to do is set that to display flex. The flex property makes it easier to position the elements. We're going to justify content center and flex wrap, which allows enabling the control direction in which lines are stacked. For the header, we're going to do position fixed, height of 6 to 9 pixels, background color is black, the border bottom has a seashell color, and the text is centered. First thing we're going to do is set the width to 100%. We're going to set the position to fixed, Z index of 1, height 69 pixels. Background color is black. Border bottom, we're going to set to one pixel solid with the seashell color. And we're going to align items center. If we hit save, now we can see that the bottom showed up. And now we're going to style the header image. The header image logo has a height of 50 pixels. So we're going to do height 50 pixels and padding left of 10 pixels. So far, this is how our page looks like, except this image is not working. Oh, it's missing the H. Let's save and see if it works now. Okay, so we have the logo and we have the menu here. Next, let's go to the nav session. We need those tags to the right. So we need mission, feature, T, and locations all the way to the right. So we're going to do text align right and flex grow of one which means that every child of the element will set to an equal size inside the container let's save this is how our page looks like so far except these are too close to each other so let's select nav spam display inline block and create a padding so those elements look better 20 pixels so top and bottom are going to be 20 pixels and left and right are going to be 10 pixels let's save 
that looks better. We're all done with the header. Now we're going to go to the next session, which is the mission. For this session, we need a height of 700 pixels. We have an H2 and H4 element. They need to be centered vertically. And this session is 1200 pixels horizontally and has a background image. We're going to add mission section on HTML first. We're going to create a div, given an ID of mission and a class of flex container. We're going to create another div inside this div with the class of content. Our H2 here is our mission and our H4 is right here. So I'm just going to write that. Let's save. And now we're going to edit this part on CSS. I'm going to add a comment here for mission session. I'm going to call the ID of mission first and set the height to 700 pixels. I'm going to add the background image link and a padding top of 70 pixels. Let's save. Next, we're going to style the mission content and we're going to add margin auto background color black with 100%. Let's save. Refresh the page. It's looking pretty good. Now let's go to the next section, which is the store section. So here we have an H2, an H4, and five images. These images have a height of 200 pixels, and they have a margin of 10 pixels. Let's create another div and set its ID to store. We're going to add our H2, T of the month, and our H4. What's tipping at the T cozy? We're going to create another div and give it a class of flex container items. And we're going to create another div and class for each image. First image I'm going to add is fall berry bleeds tea. For each image, I'm going to copy their link and paste on source and add the span, which is the description of each image. Now let's style this session on CSS. So this session has the same height as this session. So I'm going to just add 700 pixels as the height width of approximately a thousand pixels. I'm going to set margin to auto and padding to 70 pixels. This is how the store section looks like before styling in CSS. Let's add those properties to the ID store. For the class item, we're going to add a padding, five pixels. And for each image, we're going to add height of 200 pixels, margin of 10 pixels, and display and block. Refresh the page and let's see how it looks. We still need to fix this margin and change the text to bold. So for item span, we're going to add display block, padding 5 pixels, font weight bold, text align center. Let's save. And now we have finalized the store section. Next is location section. For this session, we have 500 pixels height, H2 of locations, each location with 300 pixels width, you have 40 pixels in between each location. You have 15 pixels between H2 and the locations. And each name, downtown, East Bayside, and Oakdale, or the H3. Opacity of 1. Create an ID for locations. H2 location. Class flex container locations. And a class for each location. Downtown is H3, and a paragraph for each line. Address, suite number, Portland, Maine. And you're going to do the same thing for 
East Bayside and Oakdale. Now let's style location section on CSS. This is how our website looks so far. Now we're going to style this section. Let's first give a padding top of 5 pixels to flex container locations. And then add the link to the background image with the height of 500 pixels and padding top of 70 pixels. Let's refresh the page. And now we have the background image. Now let's set the width to 1100 pixels and the margin to auto to locations flex container. Next is location. We need to add a black background with 300 pixels width and 40 pixels in between each location. So I added opacity of 1, padding 10 pixels, margin 5 pixels, top and bottom 20 pixels left and right, background color is black, flex basis 280 pixels, display flex, flex direction column, and justify the content to center. Less sections are contact and footer. For the contact session, we're going to create a div with the ID of contact. H2 is the tcozy. H5 contact at the tcozy.com. Another H5 for the phone number. For the contact section, they want a height of 200 pixels. So let's select contact, height, 200 pixels. Save. Next section is footer, which is copyright the T Cozy 2017. Footer needs to have a margin of 20 pixels to the left, and text is aligned to the left. Let's save and refresh the page. And this is the T Cozy project.